To perform this work, you will first need to remove the front bumper cover. Please follow the link provided at the end of this video for additional assistance with that task. With the front bumper removed, you should have easy access to both the right and left radiators. Begin by removing the large rubber air funnel that is located in front of each radiator. It is held on with five screws shown in the lower left. Then cut a slit in the radiator hose and allow the coolant to empty out of the radiator and hoses. Yellow arrow, upper image. Detach the air conditioning condenser from the front by removing the two bolts, green arrows, and sliding it out of its mounting tab, red arrow. Using a zip tie, secure the air conditioning condenser to the chassis. This is to assure that the condenser pipes do not become damaged while you're working on the radiator. Upper left insert. The lower left insert photo shows the rubber air funnel for the right side of the car. The temperature sensor boot must be carefully threaded out of this upon removal. This photo shows the back side of the radiator and fan assembly with the inner fender liners removed. Again, if you need additional assistance with that, please follow the link provided at the end of this video. In order to remove the radiator and fan assembly, you need to disconnect the small radiator vent hose, red arrow. I recommend replacing this hose during this procedure, so you might save some time and effort by just clipping it off. Unclip the vent hose from the radiator bracket, blue arrow. The green arrow shows the upper radiator hose. In a similar manner, I also recommend just cutting it, since you will be replacing it anyways. If you decide not to remove the front bumper cover, then you will need to remove the fender brace, white arrow, and detach the headlamp vent hose as well. The yellow arrow shows the electrical connection to the fan that must be disconnected. Pull out the resistor pack from the bracket and loosen the wire harness green arrow. Disconnect the rear radiator air guide from the metal radiator bracket red arrow. Finally, disconnect the bracket from the chassis by removing the nuts that hold it in place blue arrow. Here is an image of the radiator area after the radiator has been removed. The radiator-like unit on the left is the air conditioning condenser. On the left is shown a brand new OEM replacement radiator. If you're merely replacing the radiator fan and are installing the old radiator, be sure to blow out the dirt and debris with some compressed air. The radiator fan assembly is clipped to the rear of the radiator using metal snap clips. Insert photo. Remove these snaps and the fan assembly should lift right off. The fan is attached to the fan housing via three mounting screws located on the back side. A new fan is shown in the lower right. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.